Out in the tropics, it is fairly active in some spots. Notice we've got the Atlantic, just a few tropical waves, a lot of tropical uh, waves going on in the Pacific. They actually have three areas are watching. The tropical storm uh, Alita just developed, expected to become a hurricane over the next couple days. An area is being monitored here and an area being monitored here. So quite a bit of activity expected in the Pacific over the next 10 days or so. The Atlantic is a little bit more quiet, but we've been tracking some tropical waves. This is the one we were tracking yesterday. They've taken the chance of it developing uh, out of the uh, the forecast. Now we're watching this tropical wave, and this one's a little bit better organized. So we'll say it kind of has a broad circulation to it here, and you can kind of see it uh, in satellite. But this is more so in the mid levels. You really need that surface uh, circulation to develop before it to really start to organize. So a 20% chance this tries to organize over the next couple of days. Models aren't too excited with it, but it is something to certainly watch. And I think the reason models aren't really doing much with it is because of the atmosphere in the Atlantic. We still don't have the most conducive environment. It's going to be in a decent environment over the next couple of days, but as it gets closer to the lesser Antilles here and into the Caribbean, it's going to be fighting a lot of this dry air and a lot of wind shear. So that's kind of been the story this season with the dry air, uh, but nonetheless, we'll keep an eye on it. We've got plenty of time to babysit it, and there's some tropical waves behind that. We'll continue to babysit as well.